Danielle Tanya. I hope you're well. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today's video was actually inspired by Philippa's YouTube video last week where she spoke about four ways she's sparking joy in her home. And I was thinking about the clothes that I've been wearing at the moment and what I've been leaning towards. And it was all pieces that kind of made me feel good. Kind of like an updated spring capsule wardrobe kind of for lockdown, kind of an update, but I just wanted to share the pieces that I've been turning to, the pieces that I found comfy, that make me feel good, and that I've just been wearing time and time again, as I'm sure you've probably seen on our channel. Obviously, we do love a jogger, and I've been wearing so much of the Topshop 90s joggers, my me and M joggers, but actually some days, I just feel like I need to put on something a little bit nicer, something to make me feel good, maybe a bit of color, and that's what I wanted to talk about today, those really easy pieces that you've probably all got in your wardrobe, but kind of just push the boat out a bit and instantly lift your mood, because as we always say, the clothes that you wear really can have an effect on how you're feeling, and I'm all about those feel-good pieces at the moment. So I'm going to talk you through five pieces that I'm loving that are making me feel really, really good, and they're all from the high street. First up, a piece that I actually haven't had in my wardrobe for quite a few years, and now I cannot get enough of, which is the khaki cargo trouser. Now, these ones are from H&M, and I wanted to talk about them because I know how much you guys loved our Gap ones that we posted a couple of weeks ago, and they've totally sold out. So I found these, and although they're definitely a real casual vibe, they're not quite joggers, and what I like about them is they're quite high-waisted. So when you tuck a t-shirt in and you're kind of showing off a bit of waist, you actually feel really good. And I haven't owned a khaki trouser. I was trying to think. I owned a pair from Topshop. God, probably about four years ago that had like a tie waist like more of a paper bag style and i love them at the time but i actually got rid of them a while back and i haven't had anything like this but i don't know why because khaki is the most neutral color it goes with everything just like a khaki jacket that we throw on over literally everything a khaki kind of cargo pant is such a great piece and like i said you just feel a bit more done in them you can wear your t-shirt you can tuck in a white shirt you could even wear a little top and these are perfect because they've got that real cargo vibe with the pockets and as I said they sit really nicely on the waist so they're super flattering. So I've been turning to these a lot recently and I've just kind of updated my t-shirts, um, popped on my denim jacket and it's just a real easy piece but I feel a li little bit more dressed than I would do just kind of wearing joggers and a t-shirt. So maybe I'll also go for a slightly smarter trainer like my Vejas and I feel really really done in them. So I wanted to shout out to these cargo trousers because I've been loving them and I think you guys will too. Next up, would it even be locked down if I didn't talk about da, 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 tie dye? I just feel like everyone has gone tie dye mad. And for good reason, there is something so lovely about a tie dye piece. All the shops have gone crazy for it. I've bought into the Top Shop joggers with a matching t shirt, and that's definitely a more kind of fashion forward way to wear it. But just a simple tie dye t shirt is such a great piece for your spring wardrobe. Now, I love a plain t-shirt. I'm all about the white, the gray, the black, the navy, a couple of kind of logo tees thrown in, but I really do like a plain t-shirt. So this kind of muted tie-dye was something quite different for me. And I have worn it so much. And every time I put it on, it lifts my spirits. I think it's maybe just the color and just the fact that it's something really different. So this one is from French Connection. It's quite an oversized shape, so I would definitely suggest you size down if you want it a little bit more fitted. This is a size medium. I probably could have gone for a small, but I quite like it quite oversized and boxy, and I might even wear it out with leggings as well. It's just a great piece for your wardrobe, great for spring. What I love is that it's injecting a little bit of color, but it doesn't feel too scary. You can see that it's just kind of got the pops of turquoise, the pops of yellow, the pops of pink, but it's really quite muted and quite neutral. So it shouldn't feel too scary if you're kind of looking at a lot of the tie-dye pieces and thinking, oh God, they're way too much for me. Whereas this is a really, really great way to do it. Now, the next piece I'm gonna talk about is actually this floral dress. It really wouldn't be spring and even summer if I didn't start talking about my floaty dress obsession, which I absolutely love. As soon as the weather turns, I'm all about wearing those easy dresses that just kind of put on and just don't have to think about anything else. Add a pair of trainers or a slide. 
or you know a Haviana, whatever takes your fancy and it's just such an amazing outfit and even though I've been at home when the weather is lovely I love putting on a dress and that hasn't changed and I think at the beginning I was trying to force myself to always just wear like nothingy things and just be comfy and be at home and it was starting to make me feel just a bit down so I just decided that whatever I felt like wearing I was gonna wear it didn't matter if I was just going for a walk and nothing else because I felt good and that was the main thing so this is actually a new one from H&M and I saw it online and I just knew I absolutely loved it and I would wear it loads what I love about it is these really billowing sleeves and the kind of again kind of more like a it's almost like a fluorescenty print on it it's something really different that I didn't have in my wardrobe and even better is that it's cotton. And I know I sound really old when I say this, but I just can't wear those really, you know, those materials which make you feel really, really sweaty and you just get hot the minute you put them on, those real synthetic materials. So this one was cotton, it's really floaty, really easy. And even on a boiling hot day, even though it's long sleeves, because the fabric's so light, it feels so comfortable and really cool. And I'm really pleased with it. So I ordered this online quite a few weeks ago probably about a month ago actually and I've worn it loads as I said just wear it with my trainers and I feel really great in it it's super comfy and why not throw on a dress you don't have to wear your leggings and your joggers every day you can be just as comfortable but feel really special as well so shout out to this one from H&M and I will say actually the sizes came up really really big so I've tried this similar shape from H&M before and I, and I remembered so I've ordered an extra small. So obviously I'll link it in the notes below but just note down that the sizes do come up big. Number four, another real throw on piece that I've been turning to more so than I have in probably the past four years is a jumpsuit. Now, I don't think I'm a particular jumpsuit girl but this period and generally just this weather and the way that I've been feeling, I have been loving a jumpsuit. I've, another one of those pieces that you just throw on, you don't have to think about it and you feel really, really, I feel just done and good and even if my hair's not that great and I can't always put makeup on, if I'm wearing a good outfit, it just does something to me. This is the All Saints jumpsuit. This was quite a few months old now. I don't think they have this anymore, but I'm gonna link some similar styles. I know H&M have got a great one. And there's just something about a denim jumpsuit that never ever dates. I do have one in my wardrobe from, I think it was last year or the year before from Topshop, but it's a much more kind of structured, slim style. So I don't think I feel comfortable wearing that just real casually. It's, it's very tight at the waist. So I think if you're gonna go for a jumpsuit during this period, you've gotta make it that kind of really light fabric, really comfortable. Philip and I both showed you one from Gap that we found that's a cotton material. Um, that are also super comfy and the shape is much wider, it's not structured, it's not tight, it, you definitely wouldn't wear it with heels. And I just love this one from All Saints because it's this really soft denim, it's really comfy, it's got wide sleeves, wide legs, but it still belts you in at the waist because I do think when you're wearing that shape, you do need to create kind of a bit of a middle or it can just look a bit too oversized. So another piece that's great with trainers, with sandals, with slides, and something that I've been turning to just so easy, I've worn it so much. You've probably seen it, I, I shot it in two Instagram videos. I, we've both worn it on the blog and on Instagram. If you guys have got a jumpsuit in your wardrobe, maybe this will inspire you to take it out and give it a go and see if it lifts your spirits. The final piece that I want to talk to you about is gym wear. Now, I have been really trying to do some form of exercise kind of every couple of days just for my mental health. I realized early on that I really needed to keep that aspect up, whether it's kind of going for a run or doing some Zoom videos or following some on online classes. It's just something that helps me feel good. I like to do it first thing in the morning and it just kind of sets me up for the day. I think if I don't do that, then I just, I don't feel good and my mind feels foggy and it's just something that helps me really feel good. So I'm all about working out and some nice workout wear because I do feel like if you put on something like just an old t-shirt and leggings you're not going to be in that zone to work out so I wanted to share with you a bit of new active wear that I've got that I've been so wowed by and that is the H&M active wear I know you guys have seen it on stories and it seems that you're also obsessed as well 
And I have owned quite a few pieces from H&M in the past, but actually haven't bought anything new for the gym in a really, really long time. So these were actually sent to us to try, but I've been so wowed and I've worn them as so has Philippa that we really wanted to like properly shout out about them. I'm gonna start off with the leggings. So these are called the sculpting legging. And they're a dark gray color. I think they come in about four different shades. As you can see, they've kind of got this paneling down them and they're this really stretchy, thick fabric and they're super high-waisted. So they literally suck everything in really, really high. I cannot bear leggings which aren't high-waisted and then when you're doing stuff, they start falling down and it's just really annoying. You're yanking them the whole time. So these definitely don't do that. There's not see-through at all. They hug everything in. Someone asked on Instagram, did I do the squat challenge and can I confirm if they go see-through? And I can confirm that they don't go see-through. Just love everything about them. So I wanted to share with you the leggings. They do do lift different kind of contour leggings and lots of different styles. I've only tried this sculpting one and I really recommend it, them. I will say though, that they do come up slightly long. So if you are more on the petite side, just perhaps size down because these are a size small and I would say they fit like an eight to 10 and they are quite long. So I really do wear them quite high. Also their tops are incredible as well. I don't love, I'm laughing because I get so many questions on Instagram. I don't love a tight gym top. I just can't bear tight and then tight. I just don't feel comfortable. So I always prefer something a little bit looser and a little bit more long line. And they are so hard to come by. I've got a couple of Nike tops, a couple of Adidas, just t-shirt material from quite a few years ago. And maybe one other. And I just can never seem to find them because they're always tight or they're cropped. So hello to these two pack from H&M in this kind of draping fabric in this oversized, slightly oversized shape. Still got that racer back. And they are so comfy, so flattering. And I can't believe they've made them. They've literally made them in every color. So this is a two pack and it comes in pink and dark gray. There is a green and a dark gray and I think they also sell them individually as well. But I just love that it's that slightly looser shape. So if you are feeling a bit conscious, you know, you don't necessarily wanna wear a tight top and tight leggings. I always prefer something a little bit looser. So this, these are absolutely amazing and I love that you can add a bit of color as well. I'm really guilty of only wearing black for the gym because I just feel like it's most flattering and I just feel more comfortable in it. So trying out a bit of pink was quite new for me. And I just put it on, and even yesterday actually, um, I was doing a class in the evening. I know I said I work out in the morning, but I do like to do this one class in the evening, which I will link below. My friend Emma Board is the most incredible person trainer and she does Zoom classes. And let me tell you, you won't, you will never sweat so much. You feel so good and I really recommend it. So I'll link those details below. But I thought to myself, why am I going to get dressed twice in the morning and then change in the evening? I'm just going to put on my gym wear in the morning and feel good because it felt like an outfit. And sometimes when you're mismatching sets, you don't feel done. Whereas I love the pink and grey together and I popped this on and I wore it the whole day and I was straight ready for my class when Lenny went to sleep. And I loved it. Also, just going to show you if I can find it. Here it is. The matching bra. Also love that a lot of the H&M sets come with matching bras because... I know some, I'm not so fussy with that, but I know some people when they buy, like to buy a set. So this is the bra, it's quite long line, which was quite nice, I've not tried something like that. Really comfy, I think this is low support. I don't have a particularly big bust, so I don't really need to worry about high support. But this felt really, really great. And that's my number five feel good things that I've been turning to this week. Thank you so much for watching as always. Hopefully I inspired you to dig deep into your wardrobe, to kind of maybe pick out some pieces to make you feel good, and just hopefully sharing what's lifting my spirits and making me feel good this week will help you guys as well. And I really all hope you're staying safe during these crazy times and we're both sending lots of love to you all and thank you for watching and we'll see you next week 7 30 a.m bye